podcast. My name is Garmin. You can find me on Instagram as newleafdesigns.nl and this is my podcast about knitting, crocheting and my journey as a full-time designer. And it feels weird to be back. Uh, this is my first podcast of the year and um, I hadn't recorded in a while because I was so busy and um, it kind of fell down the list of priorities but right now with this weird situation that we're in um, I thought it would be nice to record a little video to I don't know, spread some joy, give you something happy to watch. Um, I'm not allowed to say the name because YouTube will demonetize me and that's not what I need right now. And I'm not gonna talk too much about it anyway because I'm not a healthcare professional in any way. I do want to share some thoughts, but um, I thought I'd do that along the way where it feels natural to share a bit more. So um, yeah, first of all, how have you all been doing? Because I've been gone for a while on my YouTube channel. Well, you might have seen my tutorial videos pop up for the Cozy Moment shawl, which has been insane. <laughs> that has been incredible so my cozy moment shawl i'll show you my finished object in just a moment it's a shawl it's a lace shawl pattern i'll actually just show you my finished object right now uh so you've been seeing my um the pink and blue uh version that my testers made and i've also this last sunday i have finished one of my versions. Ah! Here it is. It's too big for the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's really big. Um, I've knit this version with Scapey's Whirly Gig, which is a thicker yarn than the original shawl uses, so that's why it's so big. Um, I'll actually just stand back and show you. So this is the finished shawl. Wow, it's really something. And this is, as I said, the Whirly Gig version. And And I've adapted the pattern to make sure you can finish it with one ball. And so this is the shortened version, but still it is quite sizable. Quite, yes. <laughs> I really, really love it though. Um, it's yeah, it's like a blanket. Um, it's almost as big as a Stephen West shawl. It's like a cape. But I really, really like it. Um, it's really warm because it's uh, wool and alpaca. So it's 100% natural fibers. And yeah, I just, I just love it so much. Let me grab the original. Where is it? I haven't shown this one on the podcast, so I thought I would show you. So this is the original shawl in Scapius Whirl, which is a, a cotton and acrylic mix yarn. It has a thousand meters on one ball. And yeah, look at that. So it's quite a nice size as it is. It's 135 centimeters wide and I think 50 centimeters deep. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, this one is um, <laughs> much bigger. Um, let me see if I can put them on top of each other. So 
So yeah, there is the size difference. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger. <laughs> the original is still a very nice size and it's very uh, light, which, mean it's, uh, which makes it perfect for summer um, and spring. And then the big really gig version is just really nice for winter or for cozying up on the couch. You can act like a blanket. Um, yeah, so that's my... That's my shawl. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is my lace shawl design. So it's a knit pattern, if you haven't seen it. And it consists of eight lace patterns. The first one being these dancing cables. Then the second one are these pyramids or chevrons. The third one, it's actually, I'm actually holding it upside down now. So the third one is actually flowers. Can you see them? So this is the stem of the flower, then there's the flower bulb, and then uh, some leaves. And then the fourth one is a cable pattern, then some diamonds, some lacy cables, some more diamonds, and then for clover lace. And then a crochet edging, as I thought that would be really nice. And yeah, I just love working with these ombre gradient yarns. They're just so beautiful. And yeah, I just, I just love it. It adds so much to a project. Um, yeah, so this has been really, really successful. Um, lots of people have joined in with the make along and uh, it's, it's finished now, but people are still making along and showing off their shawls and even starting new shawls. Um, I've seen total beginner knitters starting out with this shawl and has been just mind-blowing and I feel so thankful just um, for all of the people who are joining in. The pattern is available for free on my blog. It's in four different parts. Each part has two lace patterns and it was published over four weeks. Um, but the full PDF is available in my Ravelry store and I also have um, tutorial videos for each of the lace patterns um, which were very um, well received which makes me happy as well. So yeah, I'm just really really pleased with this um, this pattern and um, how it all turned out and yeah, it has been great. Uh, I do have my work in progress of the same pattern, but I thought I'd go through all of my finished objects first and then uh, show my works in progress. So actually my very first finished object of the year was this punch needle pillow. And I had finished the punch needling part uh, but I still had to sew it into a cushion. And I was hoping to do this with a sewing machine, but, you know, I don't have a sewing machine and I just uh, was postponing going to my mom and figuring it all out. And, um, yeah, so I just uh, sewed it by hand, uh, which was doable. I mean, it's not super neat. You still see a little bit of the punished needle fabric. 
but I like it very much. I used a assortment of yarns. Most of them is uh, Alafoss Lopi. I think it is. Yeah, Alafoss Lopi. It's a really bulky Lopi. Uh, some of it is my own hand dye yarn. There's some filter in here, some Katia, which is the uh, yellow yarn. It's all stash yarn, actually. Um, yeah. And it's been really fun. And this pattern, or the, yeah, the pattern of the flowers, uh, I got it from a magazine. It's cool magazine. And there was a um, project in it by Buku, uh, or Aruna, um, who's Buku on Instagram. And you might recognize her style as well. And yeah, it's beautiful. So um, I really enjoyed this. And I'm looking forward to doing more. And actually, the last weekend I was supposed to go um, on a weekend away with my friends. Uh, and of course, I couldn't go um, and we all cancelled. So we're all really sad, but um, it's the best right now. So, uh, and we were going to have our a little punch needle party at the weekend. Um, but yeah, we couldn't do that anymore, so I sent out the supplies to everyone and we will have a little virtual punch party. Um, yeah, so I've been punch needling a little bit more. Oh, this is actually a work in progress. Shouldn't be showing you guys, but yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna needle punch some more as it's just really fun. And it's therapeutic to stab a fabric over and over and over. So, yeah, there is that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm sad that that didn't happen. And there are a lot of things that are not happening right now, such as yarn shows and workshops. I had to can cancel some workshops, and I'm not sure if the ones that I have planned now, the first one being on the 10th of April, I'm not sure if I... If I need to cancel that one as well it's just all a bit unsure at the moment but uh, luckily everyone understands ah, it's just you know it's such a weird time um, yeah so we'll just have to do with some online knitting nights and on online uh, yarn shopping as well uh, more about that in a little while <laughs> um, two finished objects uh, my next finished object is another design of mine and it's a hat it's my striped and stranded hat and i'll put it on for you it's a bit too warm to wear at the moment but um yeah I really like it. Um, the tutorial is up on my Patreon page. So it's a full tutorial showing you how to cast on, how to increase, how to decrease, how to do the color work. Um, yeah, so that's all in there. And my patrons get a free PDF pattern as well. And this is available for my elder tier patrons, which is the $10 a month level. And I will also publish the um, pattern in my Ravelry store later this month. Uh, but for now, it's a Patreon exclusive. I think I started this in December, not quite sure. Um, and this is the original version of the hat, which I knit last year, I think in April last year. Um, and I finally blocked it, so now it's, um, it's nice and the fabric is a little bit more relaxed before it was standing up a little bit well not that much but it was standing up a little bit by itself now it's a little bit more slouchy which is nice i'm gonna take it off before it ruins my hair <laughs> um so those are two finished objects as well uh, actually this one doesn't count since it's from last year but i blocked it so yeah I'm really pleased with this one. Um, I used some Danish yarn for this uh, from Camarose. And I know the yarn range, it means ecological or organic everyday wool. Um, not gonna 
pronounce it in Danish, but um, I'll put it on the screen. And this one I knit with uh, Hey Mama Wolf, which is the purple yarn, and West Wool Bicycle in the glass colorway, which is the really light blue one. And actually that's the same that I've used here. It looks completely different, but um, yeah, I use the same for this hat. Right, I have one, two, three, three more finished objects. Um, yeah, that's what you get when you don't podcast for three months. Um, so one of the finished objects is really, really, um, really small. Uh, it was a crochet flower and a, uh, I put a little pattern of it up on my Instagram page and on my blog and I don't have the flower anymore because um, I sewed it onto a greeting card and then I sent it off to my grandpa uh, just because I can't visit him at the moment and I want to make sure that you know I sent him something that might comfort him and I want him to know that I'm thinking of him um, I could call him but he has trouble hearing what I say. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, um, his hearing is not quite well and he always says I talk too fast. So, <laughs> so I thought to send a card uh, and I'm knitting him some socks as well that I will show you in just a bit. And I thought to just put the pattern up on my blog so I have it in a crochet chart version and I've also written written out all of the rounds and you can just do it with some cotton yarn and um, it will be a little bit smaller than this so just a little bit smaller and you can stick it on a greeting card and um, um, this lady had a great idea to send greeting cards to nursing homes uh, because those people can't um, have visitors right now and some of them are um, struggling with dementia and you know they just don't understand why they don't get visitors so they're really struggling with having no visitors so yeah if you want to do some good for the world you can send some greeting cards to your local nursing home and you can send a smile to some people another thing that I made I don't have it anymore because I gifted it but I'll put a picture up here it's a crochet octopus well i was only able to crochet six legs so it's not an octopus per se but i'm calling it an octopus um and it was for a friend of mine who's expecting a baby and we had a baby shower um just before um all of this happened uh which is really weird but um yeah so i crocheted this octopus and i used uh skippy's organicon for the body i used two shades of organicon and i used a couple of shades of uh, katona just really small 10 gram balls so i used those for the stripes on the tentacles and it was really cute and yeah i'm happy with it i didn't really write down the pattern although i might do that um, yeah, but that was another thing that I made. And now the last FO that I want to show you is something that I haven't shown you before, I think, but I have shown it on my Patreon page and on my bonus Instagram stories for my patrons. And it's finished. I was casting it off yesterday and I already blocked it, um, earlier I had blocked it last week I just put it on a lifeline spread it out blocked it and then um, I saw that it was already quite a large size so I just uh, did a few more garter rows and I bound off and um, it's a shawl and it's a lace shawl and I'm so in love with it oh this is the Scent of the Pine Lace Shawl. Oh, I love it so much. So I still have to block the um, edging because it sometimes curls over. But yeah, I just, I just love it so much. So um, it's a lace 
pattern or it's a lace shawl it's my own design it uses four yeah three or four lace um, patterns it's quite difficult to show actually so you start at the top with a really simple eyelid lace pattern then I call it spider web lace kind of makes me think of a spider web but, and then some beautiful chevrons and then I call this fir tree lace um, you can see it better if I hold it like this there are little pearl details in here and I think it they look like trees but if you look at it like that you just see the chevrons but yeah I just I really love how it looks and the yarn just well let me let me show you properly first and then I'll talk about the yarn so here is the shawl <laughs> it feels so strange having no fish objects for a while and then having two shawls bound off in two days this has been in the works for a while as well and I'm so happy to finally finish it Oop, my neighbor is out <laughs> yeah I really love it and for this one I just opted for a garter edging and no frilly lace or anything um, although I do like that um, but I just wanted a clean edging with this one to not distract too much from the lace and I love that it's in one color as well although <laughs> I said with my with my other lace shawl that I, that I love that it's in so many colors but I don't know this one just has a different vibe and also this is 100% wool um, so this is a uh, Gould DK yarn and I got it at the natural dyeing retreat last year this is what I have left over from the second ball so I used two balls well one and a half uh, of 650 meters per hundred grams and yeah it's 100% wool so it's really really warm and yeah so this will be more for uh, my winter wardrobe and I have a dark green coat with like um, red and um, copper tints in it or accents and I feel like this will be a really nice addition to that yeah so I think I will be wearing it like this more mm, it's so warm I just love 100% wool and um, one thing it's because it's so warm secondly because it blocks so well you can just oh, you can just stretch it out and just you know blocking a shawl is one of my favorite things to do if I have enough blocking mats otherwise it's not so fun <laughs> yeah but I just love it so the yarn that I used uh, it's actually discontinued so um, this was 100% Scottish lambs wool and uh, I got it last year in May at their shop in Denmark 
and um, so they discontinued this base but they have a new base which is called number four and it's roughly the same it's uh, 650 meters per 100 grams so it's the same weight and um, uh, it's also 100% wool, but this one was 100% Scottish lamb's wool, and the new base is 75% Falkland merino. Yes, 75% Falkland and 25% Gotland. So that's the new base that's comparable to this one. So if you want a similar version, you can choose two skeins of that yarn. I haven't weighed yet how much I have left, but I guess it's about half. Um, you could make it longer and I'll include those instructions in the pattern. Um, I just, I just love it so much and I want to wear it, but it's you know, too warm <laughs> for now. Um, but I hear that next week it will be a little bit colder again, so I might be able to wear it then. Yeah, but I'm just all about shawls at the moment. And I have another couple shawls planned, not yet in the works, but planned. Uh, I have so many things planned, yes. you don't wanna know. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm really happy to show you this one and what I have in mind for this one. So I will post, I will, I will publish the pattern in my Ravelry store. So it will be a paid pattern and my patrons will get tutorial videos for this shawl. In the same way as I did that for the Cozy Moment shawl, I will do uh, videos per lace pattern and I will show them each row. And um, so those videos will be on my Patreon page um, at the $5 a month level, so at the Rosewood level, and the pattern will be in my um, Ravelry store. And I plan to do that more with my Patreon page. Before I was thinking really, I don't know, I was thinking really difficultly about it. Is that even a word? Um, so I, I forced myself to create separate content for the Patreon page and it was kind of uh, putting a lot of weight on me, um, a lot of pressure. So I'm taking the regular content that I am creating, so for example, the shawl, which is going to be a paid pattern in my Ravelry store, and my patrons will then get added value. So they will get the tutorial videos at the $5 a month level, which is the Rosewood. They will get the pattern for free at the $8 a month level, and then I might share extra tips and tricks on how to really make this pattern your own on the elder tier level, which is the $10 a month. And that is kind of the... Um, how do you say this? I think that is the way forward for me so that uh, I don't push myself to create totally new separate content for my Patreon page because it was just, I don't know, just too much. And, um, you know, I just want to figure out how to do this in a sustainable way so that I can keep doing it and so that my patrons know what's up and that they know when to expect new videos and new content um, and I think that is the way forward. So Rosewood level for the tutorial videos, Willow level for the um, free PDF patterns and um, Elder level for well all of the above. Uh, the Willow will also receive the tutorial videos and for the Elder you will then receive tutorial videos PDF pattern and extra tips and tricks to kind of tweak your pattern, um, kind of a designer's view on things. And I think that will be really helpful as well. Um, yeah. So that is my last finished object that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I just finished it last night, as I said, and I will be working on the pattern right now, uh, or not right now, but in the next weeks. Um, 
I was smart enough to write down notes as I go, um, but it's still a lot of work to put that into a PDF pattern. Wow, I've been talking for a long time. So actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this video here and uh, this will be my F.O. show, <laughs> my finished object uh, video, and then I'll record a separate video for my works in progress because I think that will be a lot of fun and it won't be too much of, you know, it won't be too long a video. I do hope that you guys are all um, staying safe. I hope um, most of you will be safely at home. I know that it's not the case for everyone and I'm really recognizing my own privilege here. Um, I worked from home anyway. I still have a relatively stable income, although, you know, being your own boss, it's uh, kind of up in the air all the time. Uh, but my boyfriend has a stable income, so we don't have any kids which I also think is a privilege. Um, <laughs> I just hope that you're keeping safe and that you're able to entertain yourself and your family. And um, yeah, I hope that I might provide a little piece of happiness for you. Um, yeah, and lastly, I wanna say I am so grateful for this knitting community um, for, you know, just coming up with ways on how we can tackle this all together. I'm seeing people hosting virtual workshops, virtual um, yarn festivals, which is really, really great. And um, yeah, I just, I just feel the support and I want to support as many of you as possible as well. So yeah, I've done some serious yarn shopping and I will record a woolly goodies vlog about those goodies um, yeah but I just want to thank you all for the support and if you have the budget please do think of uh, supporting your favorite uh, yarn shops yarn dyers um, pattern designers with a purchase of their online shop or maybe become a part of their Patreon community. I know one of my favorite yarn shops, which is Yawol of Rotterdam, uh, she has just started a Patreon page and I thought, yes, I want to be a part of that because this is a really tough time for yarn shops as they have to continue to pay their rent, but they don't have the same income as before because now people are not going to the shops or are going to the shops less often and they might have invested a lot in attending uh, or vending at yarn shows and now they are cancelled um yeah so they are suffering a huge loss and um, i'm very privileged in that my business was online anyways uh just now i have ventured into workshops and yeah those are being cancelled for the foreseeable time and yeah but the yarn shops they really um some of them don't even have an online shop so they have to think um about setting one up now and um yeah it's just a really difficult time so if it's possible for you please consider to support your yarn shops um your favorite yarn dyers your pattern designers that you probably would have supported if you would have gone to a yarn festival anyway, so why not now? Uh, why not create your own uh, virtual yarn festival and shop online? Um, which I have done and yeah, I will show you in an upcoming video. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. And again, thank you all so much for your support. And I hope to see you in my next video. And in the meantime, I have loads of free patterns as well. You can check them out on my website, newleafdesigns.nl. Yes, yeah, so stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. And why not try out a new skill this time? I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.